Welcome to the Average Rook. We're still playing SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Part three, I guess. Oh, ugh. oh it's a blob. Okay. Oh, F off. Okay, like I was saying, part three of uh, Jellyfish Fields. We still haven't found the King Jellyfish yet. That might be a long while. Let me just check the map here. We've still got like this and three more spatulas to find. So we'll need to get to that as quickly as... Fresh, like a well, when I say quickly, it's probably not going to be that quick. Now, while I keep playing this, I want to kind of like go back to uh, and maybe explain a little bit more in detail that whole thing with the uh, the camp and the SpongeBob SquarePants thing. So when I was six years old, or in the year that I turned six, uh, we moved to Canada. And that's where I discovered SpongeBob SquarePants because we had DVDs of it and we watched them ad nauseum. And then when I went back to uh, when I went back to Australia, we actually moved to Canada up because yeah, we moved to Canada because uh, my dad was working for the beers. Uh, the, uh, the, the diamond mining company. So when we moved back, uh, I didn't really know anyone, and, uh... I love opening well, presents. it wasn't that I was, uh, looking for the attention, but... On the Grade 5 camp, uh, we had this talent competition to do, um... Well, at the time, the interest was, uh, Australian Idol and Skid House. About 2003, 2004. So the talent competition was either... Australian Idol or Skid House. Um, one of the prizes was a whole lot of gummies, and I really liked gummies at the time. Um, but the Australian Idol section was uh, Fish paint. shoot. So the Australian Idol section was full, uh, and there was only like one slot left for Skid House. I didn't really know anything, so I thought I'd decide I would sing the SpongeBob SquarePants theme with a few friends and see if that would win. I wasn't expecting it to win. And I wasn't expecting anyone to notice me. Um, the grade 5 camp had kids from every class of grade 5. And as soon as I sung that, everyone knew who I was. And they loved me. But I think they thought I was like a, I don't know, like a niche or something. Just something to just laugh at. Because of course, we're kids. And we like to make fun of people a lot. So, can I jump on these? I can. But can I get across here? I don't think I can. Or I can... Aw, oh, come on! Alright, so that's gonna have to take some throwing, probably. Well, that was a waste. Oh, I may have to throw these, so I may have to get Patrick back. So, um... Yeah, so as soon as I did that, everyone loved me. And uh, the very next day, they hounded me. Hounded me, I said to uh, sing Spongebob Squarepants theme ad nauseum. It was... It got to a point Ooh, where I was so sick... Everyone. Pretty sparkly thingy. What the hell did it smash? Holy crap. Anyway, yeah, so it got to the point where they, um... Where they uh, wanted me to sing the Spongebob That's Squarepants theme ad nauseum. And I couldn't take it. It got to a point where um, I actually tried to hide away from them as a mob of kids. Ooh, again, again. Ouch. As a mob of kids um, searched high and low for me while I was hiding in the cafeteria and trying not to cry. Eventually they forgot about me after a, a week. But yeah. I never knew that singing the Spongebob Squarepants theme could get so much people- Oh, just- Could get so much um, so much notoriety. I feel like I had a point to what I was talking about, but I don't. I just wanted to reiterate what I said before. I'm trying to hit these objects, but I keep slamming these guys. I can at least smash these things. Okay. Enough of that. Need to try and focus. So I guess... Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, 
And I'm gone. Uh, there's gotta be some way. Maybe I actually need the bubble bolt. Stop hitting me! Alright, I'm gonna switch back to, uh, Spongebob for this. And I'm gonna talk to Mrs. Puff. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream. All right, now let's see what happens if we talk to her with Patrick. Swap out. Swap with Patrick. Still don't know how that bus destroyed the boxes. Didn't think it would be possible. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. That's it. Maybe if... Oh, I haven't destroyed that yet. Oh, well, let's get to it then. Clean as a whistle. Ouch. Let's try this. Oh, those were plugs? That's oh, now it's better. gone. So I guess that was the indicator that I had to destroy all of those things. Well, it's more obvious now. Hindsight is 2020. That's now a very bad saying to say. <laughs> so much crap is happening in 2020. Jesus. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Did I get a cookie? No. Well, that's... well done. Did I... No. I wasn't even pressing anything. Oh, maybe I accidentally pressed the R1 button. <laughs> I swapped to Spongebob for a little bit, but I think I might need Patrick's style for this. Um, Now let's move back to Patrick's style. You can still use Patrick's style for a bit. Now, I'm not suggesting... Well, let's just say... I can't even begin to think if it would be possible for me to beat the King Jellyfish in this one episode. It might be another, uh, harder. This one goes boom! Eh, he destroyed it. Nice. Hello. Eeny, meeny, miny, what's this? Once both boxes have been opened up, so I gotta go that way. Instead of going that way, let's go this way. You cannot hit me. You cannot hit me. Oh, dear. Let's see. Come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. Interesting. I wonder where I'm supposed to be learning these moves from. Alright, let's move the other way. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. There should be a way... Yeah, there should definitely be a way. I just have to move this way. Uh Oh, they don't destroy the boxes. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, tartar sauce. Tartar sauce. Ouch. Hey. There you go. Okay, I can destroy the boxes now, I guess. Bash. What are these stone heads? Stone tiki. Cannot be destroyed with ordinary moves. It can be blown up by thunder tikis. Okie dokie. I both love and don't love the fact that they move with me. Hard as a rock. Don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Ooh, wooden presents. A bit <laughs> love how it has to go through all of the dialogue in order. Ooh, okay. Oh, God. I'm gonna destroy this quickly, please. For the love of all that is good and holy. Thank you. Oh boy. Hmm. Is there any point in going this way? 
There's just that piece and that's it. Nah. Let's, uh... Maybe there'll be a way to go up. Can I go up through here, though? I'm gonna check. Maybe not. Oh, that's there much is. Better. Okay, destroy it. Oh, I wasn't even aiming for that. Oh, but that could have been my way up. Crap. Want to spend the shiny objects? Sure. Why would I not? I've got a surplus of them. Okay, this is possibly interesting. Okay. This way. This way. This way. Don't screw up. Uh, the Tata Sauce Lobber. Uh, let's throw some stuff. Ah, uh, that didn't look right. Ouch. Screw you. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Well, it fits anyway. Checkpoint. Hmm, I want to destroy that thing quickly. Pelvic thrust your way to freedom. <laughs> Robot go boom. How many of these do I have to carry? How much of a man do I have to be? Hmm. Something tells me I won't be able to get this. Never mind, I got it. Hmm. <laughs> the little hops. Ugh. Okay, no, don't miss. Okay, Ooh, another one. I've got ten now. Hmm, can I jump on that? That was a little bit wonky. Disappear from me, please. Thank you. Hey, teleport box. Just gotta do this. Thank you, tiki heads. Maybe ah, do lug it. Tartar sauce. Bye. Oh, you just moved to the other platform. Ugh. Well, you're closer now. Ah, proximity. Oh boy, we're we doing the time. We've got about 10 to 15 minutes. Wait as a whistle. Let's not waste any more time. Now this will melt. Ah, now I gotta go all the way back up. Oh. Don't look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look. Come on, make it. No. I right, just gotta do this. Okay, there we go. Finally made it. And I've already wasted enough time. I suppose now I gotta switch. Apparently, we get access to Sandy at some point. SpongeBob can jump up walls when this symbol appears. Jump against the side wall and press the uh, that button to jump. Because I'm not using the Xbox 360 controller or the Xbox One controller. I'm using PS4, and I'm only using this because the A button on the Xbox One controller is a little bit uh. Its responsiveness has diminished somewhat. You could tinker with it when I get the chance. Or have someone tinker. Have someone tinker with it for me. Oh my god. Back in the box, please. Oh, now I gotta jump all the way back there again. Oh, come on. Moments later. Why are they docile? Well, he's saved. King Jellyfish. So we're very we're very close. Travel to Spork Mountain. Okie dokie. Let's get to this then. Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That King Jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Yes, well thank Thanks, you. Bubble Buddy. 
Quietly, you say. Okay. Whoa. Why does it have a peanut on it? <laughs> I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? I didn't know jellyfish could. <laughs> I didn't know jellyfish could scat like that. Okay. Alright, that's probably the time where I need to hit him. What happens if I do it in the water? Crap. So how do I do this? Oh, just that. Slap him again. You got it. I feel like a new sponge. Uh, box. Oh, don't tell me we have to destroy those things. Is he gonna strike? He will. One more time. Finishing slap. Take that! Oh, blue ones this time. Blue ones just seem to be a little bit more aggressive like they were in that one episode. Oh, he's quick now. That changes things, I think. Okay. Just gotta be just a tad close. And there we go. Jellyfish jam. <laughs> He's taking a vacation. <laughs> F this crap, I'm out. <laughs> Bye. Get the jelly. Fresh like a spring breeze. Let me just grab that box before we go. Hopefully it actually works. Wait, what? Once both boxes have been opened up. Aww. Oh, where's the other box then? Oh, I see. Okay. It's too bad I don't get a... So how are we doing? Defeat King Jellyfish. So I have to go to the bottom of the, uh, the slide, I guess. So let's do that. Alright, how much is that? Whoops. Hey, get back here. Just taunts us now. Love opening presents. Oh, okay. Wait, were we supposed to go that way? Still missing one spatula. Oh, there's an exit. I guess that one spatula must be the, uh... You'll allow us to talk to you? No? You look punch drunk. And that's not a good sign. You don't even react. Oh, hey, Larry. What's up? See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Aha. Uh -huh. I can't switch to Patrick, apparently. Oh well. Let's blow this place. Okay. That was fun. And then do I just give it to him? Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Oh, that's it. Well, we can move to the next area now. So that is, I suppose, it. Still don't know how I'm going to get abilities. 
I suppose we'll find out soon enough. We're just about on track to finish the episode. And we've got enough, uh... We've got enough shiny things we can give to Mr. Krabs. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? Yeah, sure. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, uh, we can talk to Patrick and get a spatula. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Yep. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Ah, oh, Patrick, you absolute treasure. All right. Oh, we could enter Patrick's house. I didn't know that. So what's in Patrick's house then? Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Can't modify that picture. Another find for Patrick. I didn't know that. Can I remake it? Crap. Sorry, Patrick. I destroyed your. Uh... I destroyed your sofa. You don't have to tiptoe for that. All right. Since we've got nothing, well, since we've only got the uh, the next area to go to, which I'm assuming is going to be that place, because we're still a little bit short for that one. Well, it looks like a graveyard or something. Maybe we're going to meet the Flying Dutchman. So I suppose we'll save this for the next episode. All right, I am still loving this game. I just love games like this. So in the next episode, we shall be moving to the next area, and we shall see what that is like. Hopefully it says fun if not more fun than uh, jellyfish fields we shall have to see so thank you so much for stumbling onto one of the most average gaming channels out there like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video check the corresponding playlist assuming something turns up or one of the recommended that pops up below it i'm the average rook see you soon and more average content coming your way